Hey y'all, Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today we are learning how to how to knit the purl stitch. Here I have a little swatch worked up of stockinette stitch, which means it is knits on the right side and purls on the back side. So these horizontal strands of yarn here are what happens when you create a purl stitch and that's what we're going to learn how to do today. Okay. When you purl, you are going to insert your needle tip to tip and you're going to insert it in the front leg of the stitch, the loop of yarn that's over the needle. You also need to move your yarn from the back to the front. Okay, so to purl, move your yarn to the front of your work, insert your right hand needle into the front leg of your stitch, and then you're gonna yarn over. Wrap your yarn over your needle, counterclockwise there, and then we're gonna use the needle to pull that through the leg of the stitch we are making our purl into. And then we're going to slide that off of our left hand needle and onto our right hand needle. And we have made one purl stitch. So I'll repeat that across the row, keeping my yarn in the front, insert my needle tip to tip, purl wise, yarn over, pull up a loop, slide it off, purl stitch number two. I am working on the knit side or the right side of my work here, so you can easily see how my pearls are contrasting my knits of my stockinette. Little tip for your beginning and ending stitches, just make sure after you make the stitch, you tighten it a little by pulling on that yarn. Okay, so since I made a row of pearls on my stockinette side, you can really see the difference here between a knit and a purl stitch. And of course, the interesting thing about knitting is that if you flip this over to the other side, you can see that the back of a purl stitch is a knit. Okay, I hope you found that was helpful. If you have any questions about making a purl stitch, be sure to drop those in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.